e. the CCP no longer conceals its intentions in the Sino-U.S. relationship. In 2008, while the United States was struggling with an economic crisis, China hosted in Beijing the most expensive Olympics Games in history. Dressed in a costume of prosperity, the regime pushed itself onto the international stage. As a result of globalization, the U.S. manufacturing industry declined. In the face of economic difficulties, the United States asked China for help. America is surviving by borrowing money from us Chinese became a hot topic in the CCP's propaganda. America is going downhill, China is in position to replace it. Virtually all the party-controlled media in China touted such headlines, and the ideas even became popular opinion among Western media and scholars. Since 2008, America has showed signs of decline in areas such as economic standing, military strength, and political stability. On the economic front, the United States was pushing universal health care, expanding social benefits, placing climate issues at the center of policy, strengthening environmental monitoring, and placing restrictions on traditional manufacturing business. Still, the green energy industry was defeated by made-in-China products, and U.S. manufacturing continued to be hollowed out. There was no way to counter and guard against China's attacks in trade and intellectual property theft. In the face of these trends, many simply accepted as fact the narrative that China was in ascendance and America was in decline. U.S. military spending decreased, and the United States adopted a weak diplomatic stand. On the U.S. political front, socialist ideology was on the rise, social divisions widened, democratic politics became a showground for partisan squabbling, and government functions were often handicapped as a result. The CCP compared this chaos unfavorably with the focused totalitarianism of its own system, depicting America's democracy as a laughingstock. In 2010, China surpassed Japan to become the world's second largest economy in the world. In 2014, according to the World Bank's statistics, if calculated based on purchasing power parity, China's GDP might have surpassed that of the United States. The CCP saw that the contrast in power between China and the United States was shifting and thinking that America's decline was irreversible, it ended its old strategy of hiding its strength and biding its time. Instead, the CCP openly and directly took aim at the international order led by the United States. The official stance of the CCP, the media, and the experts gradually started to speak unabashedly of an expansionist China dream. In 2012, during its 18th National Congress, the CCP introduced the notion of building a community of shared future for mankind. In 2017, the CCP held its grand gathering of world political parties in order to falsely evoke the ancient imagery of the myriad kingdoms coming to pay their respects at the Chinese imperial court. The CCP went public with its desire to export the communist China model to the rest of the world. In the name of spreading what the CCP calls the China model, the Chinese plan, or Chinese wisdom, the CCP's ambition is to lead the world and to establish a new world order in accordance with the party's rules. The CCP has been preparing for this in all respects for decades. If this new world order is indeed established, it would present a formidable new axis of evil, an adversary even more threatening to the free world than the Axis Alliance during World War II.